Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for... K-Check! Hello everyone! Ako po si Gabby Concepcion, the attorney, not the artista. At ako naman po si OJ Serkinia and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We searched all over the country for people na hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang kaalaman. Dito po sa K-Check, titingnan natin kung gaano katalas at katindi ang brain power nila. And in the final week of competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling kauna-unahang K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Celine is a graduating UP Diliman BS Electronics Engineering student, a proud Batanggenya and a frustrated crocheter who uses a popular song as a timer for anything she does. Ano kaya yung song na yun? <laughs> Wen Jay, on the other hand, is a graduating mechanical engineering student of UP Diliman who works part-time as a tutor and virtual assistant. Like most people, and like most Pinoys, he loves adobo and sinigang. And Jeanette is a grade 12 STEM student from Quezon City Academy. She's a photojournalist, managing editor, and layout artist of their school newspaper. And finally, Dan is a second year AA theater student from UP Diliman, who may be familiar to all of you because of his appearances on TV. He likes to sing and do impressions. Wag lang niyang tatangkain. <laughs> Gawan tayo ng impressions. Ha? True, Attorney Gabby. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First is Professor Wendell Capili of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And finally, Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And now, contestants, papasok na po tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Celine, first question. Which superhero's secret identity is Clark Kent? Superman. Okay, check. Wen Jay, in which province can you find Baguio City? The correct answer is Benguet. And Jeanette, what does the I stand for in the government institution initials GSIS? The correct answer is Insurance. Dan, bronchial asthma is a disease of what system of the human body? Respiratory system. Okay, check. Back to Celine. In general, what does an herbivore eat? Plants. Okay, check. When Jay, Mike Tyson became a world champion in what sport? Boxing. Okay, check. And Jeanette. In what country can you find the city of Melbourne? The correct answer is Australia. Dan, which Oscar Award winner popularized the songs My Way and Strangers in the Night? Frank Sinatra. Okay, check. Back to Celine. In what U.S. state can you find the cities of Dallas and Houston? Texas. Okay, check. Wen Jay, which flightless bird of Antarctica gave its name to one of Batman's arch enemies? Penguin. Okay, check. And Jeanette, what sport is associated with La Tour de Filipinas and the old Tour of Luzon? Arnis. Male. The correct answer is cycling. Dan, what city is home of the Bears and the Bulls in major league sports? Memphis. Mali. The correct answer is Chicago. 
And that's it for our first round, the K-Check para Mihan round. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check para Mihan round. Naku, it was a very, fairly good round, don't you think? It it, it was. It was, Attorney Gabby, and I'm looking forward to more. I, I think our audience members are enjoying this show so far, but I wonder what our panel of experts thinks, no? particularly Professor Ricky. Sige, may tanong ako kay Anjanet. Uh, ang interest mo daw ay photojournalism. So, paano ka nagka-interest dito at anong mga plan mo about this? Um, kasi po, uh, si Kuya po, nagaganon din po. So, uh, nakikita ko po sa kanya yung mga, um, yung mga ganun po. So, parang naging interesado na rin po ako sa photojournalism. Pero ang galing, no? Kahit na K-12 student pa lang siya, talagang she's holding her ground as against our college contest. Absolutely. I'm excited to see how Anjanette will fare throughout this competition. Pero meron pa rin akong unanswered question dito sa ating contestant na si Celine. Ano ba yung kanta na yan na ginagamit mo for a, as a timer for certain things that you do? Uh, all to well, 10-minute version po. Yan. Minsan sasabihan ko yung roommates ko, Bilisan nyo maligo ha, isang all too well lang. Ganon. <laughs> all too well ni Taylor Swift. Yes po, by Taylor Swift. I am quite familiar with that song, but I haven't used it to time myself yet. So m maybe after this show, I'll try to do that, Celine. After this show, I'll try to look up that song. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. Yeah, but now let's look at the scores. Celine has a total of 30 points. Wenjay has 20 points. Anjanet, kaya pang humabol. Naguumpisa pa lang tayo. Dan has 20 points. And I'm sure yung mga viewers natin nakikisagot din yan, ha? Siyempre. So, ating mga viewers, how did you do against our contestants? At ready na ba kayong lahat para sa ating pabilisan round? That's next, here on... K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check so far. Ang update ng ating mga points, Celine with 30, Wenjay with 20, Anjanette with 0, and Dan with 20 points. Ngayon, Professor Wendell, baka gusto mong tanungin ang iyong katukayo sa ating isa sa mga contestants natin, si Wenjay. Uh, Wenjay, since ikaw ay galing mechanical engineering, I'm just curious, other than studying mechanical engineering, anong ginagawa ng mga tiga mechanical engineering outside mechanical engineering? Wow. <laughs> ako for me, ang mechanical engineering po, actually, it does mechanical engineering. Pero ako personally, ang gusto ko po ay mag-manage ng projects or ng tao. So, personally, I would like people management po for, for my trap. Yes. Mechanical engineering is just a, uh, parang it's a, your initial step. Parang yes, foray po. into... That venture. So yes, thank you. Mm, gusto talaga ni Wenjay pahirapan ang buhay niya. Well, that's not too <laughs> mechanical an answer <laughs> yes. from a mechanical engineering student. So go for it, Wenjay. But now, balik muna tayo sa competition. We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Here, you need to buzz in first to get the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points, pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya sa inyong apat, Think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin! Question number one. Listed at 7 feet 2 inches, which Filipino basketball player suited up for the Adelaide 36ers? Wenjay? Kai Soto. Listed at 7 feet, 2 inches, which Filipino basketball player suited up for the Adelaide 36ers of the Australian National Basketball League? Wenjay, Kai Soto, K-Check. Question number 2. What is the English name of the island in the Pacific Ocean where you can find large carved stone heads called Moai? Answer, Easter Island. Question number three. Literally translated as, quote, so close to the heart, unquote, they are small snacks served with tea throughout the day in China. 
what is this famous food generally called? Correct answer? Dim sum. Question number four. How many moons or natural satellites does the planet Mars have? Dan? None. There are no And Jeanette? Two. And Jeanette? Two? K check. Question number five. Which small island state separated from Malaysia in 1965 to become an independent nation? Wenjay. Singapore. Wenjay, Singapore, K check. Question number six. Bulusan volcano made the news when it erupted last June. In what province can you find Bulusan volcano? Correct answer, Sorsogon. Question number seven. What is the name of the supersonic airliner which was the fastest commercial plane from 1976 to early in the, 20th, in the 21st century? Correct answer, Concorde. Question number eight. You can still give me an answer. In current events, Gustavo Petro recently became the first leftist president of which South American country? Correct answer? Colombia. Question number nine. Which famous merchant and explorer from Venice traveled throughout or through Asia along the Silk Road during the 13th century. Correct answer? Marco Polo. We're almost done with this round. You can still give me an answer. Question number 10. A starving beluga whale stranded in the River Seine near Paris made the news after it was given vitamins when it refused food. In what country did this happen last August? The cue is in the question. Correct answer, France. Question number 11. What song by Glass Animals made it to number one in the music charts in March 2021 and then again in March 2022 and now has more than one billion streams on Spotify? Correct answer, Heat Waves. Who's gonna get this final question? Question number 12. Rupiah is the official currency of all the 270 million people of which country? Yes, Dan. Egypt. Malé. Wenjay. India. Malé. Who's gonna dare? Time is up. The correct answer is Indonesia. And that's the end of our K-Check Tabilisan Round. And that's the end of our K-Check Tabilisan Round. Attorney Gabby, what do you think of that round. Well, it went by so fast and based on our scores today, sabi nga nung isang artista dati, you can never can tell kasi nag-iiba, di ba? Nag-iiba ang shifting ng mga points natin. So we really need to wait for this one. Tama. What about you, Prof. Neil? What do you think?
Hindi, maganda yung laban kanina. Oh, slowly but surely, baka bibili sila mamaya sa round 3. Pero may tanong ako para kay Dan. Okay, so, Dan, binanggit sa intro kanina, you're doing impressions, di ba? Opo. I grew up, I grew up watching a lot of uh, Babalu and mm -hmm. FPJ, okay, mga films po nila. And then, to the point na, minsan sa bahay, ito na, nandito na, lalaban na ako, ya, ha? Ganun. Minsan, marinig ko po yung sarili ko na, ito na nga, kasama ko si Redford White, ay, hindi, hindi ako! Ngayon. <laughs> okay, I think kay Babalu yung ginawa mong impression, di ba? Yes po. Pwede ka bang gumawa ng sample para kay FPJ? Ano mo na sa loob, Judge? <laughs> Medyo mediocre pa lang naman po ako. <laughs> Merong request mula sa panel of experts. Pwede ko bang gumawa ng impression para kay Sir OJ? Wow. Galingan well, mo, Dan. Galingan mo, Dan. Ang galing, ang galing, ang galing, Dan. Well, mukhang... Malayo pa ang tatahakin mo, Dan. You're in theater arts. Pagbutihin mo yan. Gaya ng kailangan ninyong pagbutihan ang ating show at titignan na natin ngayon ang current standing ninyo. Celine has 30 points. Wenjay has 50 points. Anjanette has 20 points. And Dan, kailangan mong pagbutihan. Attorney Gabby, may chance pa ba silang humabol? Of course, anything goes at this point. May chance pa talagang humabol ang hahabol. And at this point, it's still anyone's game. But this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check. Welcome back. At ang standing ng mga contestants natin, Selena 30 points, Wenjay with 50 and Jeanette with 20, and Dan with 0 points. So talagang, we need to wait for the next round to see. Attorney Gabby, gitgitan pa sila ngayon, no? At malalaman natin sa ating susunod na round, ang ating final round, the K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan, kung sino ba ang mananalo sa kompetisyong ito. Sa huling round, correct answers are worth 30 points. Wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito, sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Kaya sa inyong apat, contestants, let's begin! Andito tayo sa ating pagalingan challenge kung saan hindi lamang sasagot, magpapagalingan sa mga tanong din ng ating panel of experts. Prof. Wendell, umpisahan mo na. First question, he is one of the world's best-selling musical artists. With sales of over 88 million records, he received 10 Grammy Awards and 4 Primetime Emmy Awards among others. And according to Billboard, he is the best performing male soloist in the history of the Billboard Mainstream Top 40. Who is he? Dan? Is it Bruno Mars? Ali. Anjanette. Justin Bieber. Ali. Ang tamang sagot ay si Justin Timberlake. Oh. Prof. Ricky, alam mo ba yung sagot doon? Hindi. <laughs> Kaya, Sorry. Tanong na lang ang ibigay mo. Okay. Diamond is a crystalline structure of a single element. What is this element? Celine. Carbon. Kasama ng graphite, graphene, buckyballs, at iba pa. Ito ay mga allotropes ng carbon. Okay, check. Diamonds are the girl's best friend. What about for you, Prof. Neil? Yeah, sa anong bansa matatagpuan ang Ural Mountains o bulubunduking Ural? Ang bulubunduking ito ay isang tradisyonal na hangganan ng dalawang kontinente, Europa at Asia. Ang tamang sagot ay Russia. Okay, second round, Professor Wendell. Okay, question. Name the first Filipino film to be included in the competition section of the Berlin Film Festival. In 2008, the film won the Viewer's Choice Award for Best Film of All Time from Asia. 
given by CNN Pacific Screen Awards beating nine other films around the world voted by thousands of film fans. So it is widely considered as one of the greatest Filipino films of all time. Ano po itong pelikulang ito? Ang tamang sagot ay Himala, directed by national artist and UP Speech and Theater Arts alumnos, Ismael Bernal. Wala daw kasing Himala. Prof. Ricky? Okay, math naman tayo. <laughs> Given a sequence of five consecutive odd integers, if the sum of the first two odd integers is 52, what is the sum of the last two integers? Celine? 64. Ang mga numbers ay 25, 27, 29, 31, at 33. Ang tamang sagot ay 64. K-check. Natahot naman ako doon. Ako din. <laughs> Matt, talaga. Nahirapan ako sa... Oo. Ang galing ni Celine. Okay. Okay. Ang Rock susunod na tanong ay ano ang pinakamaliit na bansa sa Asia? Ito ay isang bansa na matatagpuan sa South Asia at dahil sa global warming, may posibilidad na mawawala ang bansang ito. Ang tamang sagot ay Maldives. We should go there before it disappears, Professor Wendell. Okay. By Republic Act number 11547, which city was declared the chocolate capital of the Philippines? Anjanette. Bohol. Mali. Ang tamang sagot ay Davao City, Malagos Chocolates, remember? That's right, with plugging. Professor Ricky. Okay, next. What layer of the earth includes the brill, upper portion of the mantle, and the crust? Wenjay. Gothenburg discontinuity. Wale. Ang tamang sagot ay lithosphere. You learn something new every day. Prof. Neil? Okay. Sa kasaysayan ng Japan, ano ang tawag sa military government na pinaunlad ng mga pamilyang Minamoto, Ashikaga, at Tokugawa? Pusible, hindi ba kayo nag nagbabasa sa mga manga, <laughs> ang tamang sagot ay shogunate o shogunato. Okay, ito last question sa aking area. Name the broadcasting and observation tower in Sumida, Tokyo that became the tallest structure in Japan in 2010. Wenjay. Tokyo Tower. Mali. Tapusin ko lang yung tanong, no? And the tallest tower in the world in 2011. Ang tamang sagot ay Tokyo Sky Tree. Next, Prof. Ricky. What do you call the sensory system of a fish that is located below the skin and is used to detect movements and vibration in the water? Dan, is it sonar? Mali. Wenjay. Scales na lang. <laughs> Mali. Ang tamang sagot ay lateral line. Wow. Ang hirap talaga ng mga questions ni Prof. Ricky. And for our last question, Prof. Neil. Yeah. So, huling tanong, ano ang kinikilalang banal na bundok na nasa isang aktibong bulkan na nasa hangganan ng Laguna at Quezon Province? Wenjay. Mount Samat. Mali. Celine? Aunt Makiling. Mali. Ito ay ang bundok na sikat sa mar na kanlungan ng maraming grupong resalista. Ang tamang sagot ay Banahaw. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round.
Congratulations to Celine, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 75 points. We will see Celine again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to Wenjay, Anjanette, and Dan for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Wendell, Professor Ricky, and Professor Neil. This is OJ Serkinia. And I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another... K-Check! K -check.